Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to answer all the questions in here. The first one is number two and number two. So we can see that C and D, they have the same set. That means when we have the same set, we have the same number in here. So in here we have number two. So we have two and number two in here. We say yes. If the question they have about negative number two h number three, that means negative number two in here. That is for c, and number three in here. That's e for d. Because negative number two in here, negative number three in here. So that means this one is. The next one we have negative number one, negative number one in here. So that is about yes. The next one, the value of number three and number three belongs to H. That means the value of this one should be about integer. So let's say I will put number three in here. Minus number three in here, one over three. And this one you got about number zero. Number zero, that is about integer. So that's about yes now if i put number three and negative number three go in here so we can see that this one you got two over three and that is about the fraction so the fraction is not same with integer so that is about no the next one, we need to write H at a set of order. So in this one, we know that we have 1 over minus number 3 minus 1 over minus number 3. If S equals to Y, you got about 1 over S minus 1 over S. You got about number 0. But in this one, we still have negative number 3 and positive number 3. For example, if we have positive number 3 and negative number 3, like this one, you got about 2 over 3. But if we have 1 over 2 minus negative 1 over 2, you got number 1. And 1 over number 1 minus negative 1 over number 1, we have number 2. That means the opposite value of S and Y, this one you got about integer. But this one cannot. So in this case, we have six value of S equals to Y and two values of S equals to negative Y. So because this one, they can create about integer in here. So the answer for H, you should write like this. Here is the answer for this one. Now, the next one. What is the domain of H and co-domains of H? So we see that we have C and D. And we can see that C with D in here. In this one, domain that is about the first one and co-domain that is about the second one so because c equals to d so we need to write the same value in this one go in here and here so this is the answer now the last one that is about the diagram so if we look carefully we can see that only this one why because negative number three cannot go opposite to positive number three because they create they create a fraction in here this is the reason why we don't have this one so that means only this one is correct 
for example, we have negative number 2, they go to number 2 and negative number 2. Similar for negative number 1, they go to negative number 1 with the, uh, with the orange and the right. So that's it about this, this one. But negative number 3 and positive number 3, they cannot go opposite side. So because they create the fractions. So that's why we just select this one. This is the end. Thank you for watching.